I like using highlight mode, but I don't really like using it in any other mode that is org mode or a programming mode. I usually just confine it to buffers such as compilation mode or things of that nature. So how do I find which line I'm in whenever I'm lost in a buffer? That's easy. I use something called pulse mode, which I will demo it right now. Let me jump to my configuration file. All right, now that I'm here, I will demo control L. Now, if you do it on your end, control L, you will see that the same thing happens. It will recenter from top, bottom, and middle, except it won't be pulsing. It won't be highlighting the line. You can also do meta R, which will do the same thing without the shifting. So that's pretty cool as well. But if you try it on your end, you will not see pulsing either. So how do we get it to pulse? Well, that is simple. We look at this configuration, the pulse configuration that I have, and I will break it down. Simply, we're using use package, which is a package for configuration, and we're saying, hey, we want to configure this pulse package. Next is that we don't have to make sure that it's installed because as always, everything in this series is for packages that are built into, into Python, <laughs> into Emacs. So I am saying defer, there's no need to automatically load the whole package, but I am saying let's do a little bit of configuration when this is being read. The first one is that I'm creating a custom function called post line. Now, to be perfectly clear, I didn't write this function. I found it in a blog post like a year or two ago in the, in the subreddit of Emacs. I tried finding that same post, I could not find it anymore. So if you know who it is, please drop a link to the actual blog post so that others can find it. But I did not write this, I am simply using it and I like it a lot, so I'm sharing it as well. Okay, so what does this function actually do? Well, this function says that, hey, it, since it's a small wrapper, it's saying I'm gonna wrap around this pulse, highlight one line at the current point, that is it. And what I'm doing next is that I'm defining a list called command that simply holds a bunch of lists that I want to altercate or do something with in a moment. So I'm saving all these functions, I'm saving it in the list called command, and then I am going to iterate them via do list. What I'm doing now is I'm adding an advice to each command that after each command is ran, post line will be the next thing that runs. Now advice can be added um, either multiple ways. For now, I'm using it such as a callback. So for example, whenever the command is finished, it'll do a callback to post line. So it's just something that runs after the command is run. But you can do other things. Since this video is not about advice, I won't really go into it, but you should definitely look into the documentation as you can do a lot of powerful things with it. Okay, now that I demoed it, you can clearly see that it is pretty handy. There are some limitations though. For example, if I am on a line that doesn't extend certain columns, for example, it's just empty space, you'll see that, oh, actually that's a bad one. Uh, let's do control L. You will see that it doesn't highlight because it can only go as far as, uh, as far as how many spaces there are in a given line. So if there's no spaces, it won't highlight because there's nothing to highlight. So that's one of the downsides, but to me, I'm usually in a line that has something. So it's not really a big deal breaker for me. Okay, what about configurations? Well, it is actually a pretty lightweight uh, package since there's not a lot of things to customize. For example, if we look at the, uh, no, not, uh, if we look at the configurations, there's only three. Pulse flag, which just says, hey, true or false, if, we, if pulsing is available for whatever environment you're in. The iterations, which is uh, number of iterations in the pulse operation, and the pulse delay. So I will give you a little homework and mess around with this. It's actually just fun messing around with these. I play with them. I thought it was some interesting things that you can do. I believe you can also change the face that is being used, but that it will leave it up to homework as you guys for as well. Because per, for me personally, this uh, highlighting is exactly what I want. I don't really need another color, but perhaps for your color scheme, you might want something else. Actually, let's just go over uh, the face real quick. So should be the face. So. Here we go, here are the face that are you use for highlighting, so you can change these for whatever to match the theme that you're in. So go ahead and feel free to customize it. But other than that, it is a pretty small package, there's not a lot to do here, but it is pretty handy and I like it a lot. So hopefully you have learned some, oh, can't delete, but yeah, hopefully you have learned something and you can use this in your own configuration. Let me know if you use something else. But yeah, remember knowledge grows when it is shared. Thanks.